What's going on YouTube? It is Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina where we got some beautiful fescue GCI turf, mostly GCI turf grass and triple threat in the front yard. Some Jonathan Green out here behind me. We did a mow last night. It's looking pretty good. Uh, but thank you for tuning in today. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, appreciate you hitting that uh, subscribe button. Totally free to you. Check out channel memberships if you're interested in that. Check out the super thanks as well. Today, guys, I want to show you briefly uh, what Miss Ferguson and I have been working on as far as our back porch. It is getting crowded back here, so I just want to show you that because you've probably likely seen it maybe in other videos, uh, but explain a little bit of that to you and also talk about a very new product I kind of hinted at, I think, before that I'm going to be trying out uh, this upcoming, oh, actually really soon because we're summer prepping, right? We've talked about that in the last several videos. We talked about fungicide. Go back and watch that one. We talked about the five big tips um, that you can be working on as a new person of to survive summer with a cool season lawn during the high 90s, 95 degree heat. And uh, we talked about watering last time. We briefly talked about how our lawn needs roughly about an inch of water each week. And I showed you my sprinklers and why I have different three different types of sprinklers. So go check that one out if you didn't see it. It's uh, pretty informative, pretty quick. And we're filming again in 4K, so we're going to be brief again today because can't afford to go long on 4K. Big file. So uh, without further ado, let me show you what I'm dealing with right here behind me. And then we'll talk about uh, a brand new product we're going to be trying here in my lawn. So it's just a beautiful day and uh, yeah, the lawn is, we did our diagonal cut for our second time. So the stripes are a little bit better, but it's looking great back here, guys. Can't complain at all. Uh, beautiful spring thick, man, it was long too, because we had so much rain and I had to wait an extra day. It was super long. I bumped the mower up to four inches and uh, I was still cutting cutting a good amount of grass it was long man that protein's got it growing uh anyways but back here let me show you this look at this just back here on my back porch it is crowded uh we got a lot of stuff back here going on now i'm not going to go over everything you see so don't just skip ahead yet but over here i put this in a short and the main thing i wanted to tell you guys is i'm going to begin in these little fabric pots if you didn't see the short i've got triple threat grass seed in here and I've got a little bit of peat moss on top of it. And uh, where these fabric things I got on Amazon, it was like 12 two gallon fabric potting bucket things, whatever, uh, triple thread in there. We're growing grass, we're growing plugs basically. Uh, I've got these set out here because Miss Ferguson's got all this other stuff she's growing, uh, which we're not gonna go into everything over here. But I wanted to mention that is my long-term solution. Now here's something else I wanted to mention. I'm likely gonna, next time I get a chance, I'm gonna go by Lowe's or Home Depot and see if they've got just a one single roll of sod, a fescue, because I want to uh, fill in the holes uh, uh, like that we're doing for Poa Triv that we're killing off. I put some more glyphosate in a few spots, not a ton, but I want to cut that sod up and, and place it in the little uh, holes. Like over here, I redid this. I put some Jonathan Green seed over here in this area and, and this area right here. And it's just not, it keeps washing away. It's on a slight uh, uh, decline. Uh, so maybe it's washing the seed away every time any rain comes. I don't know. But that is an area where I'm going to need to put some plugs or put sod there. So long term, that's what I'm doing. I've got 12 of these things. I'm only using four right now, so I'll let you know. I still don't see any baby grass coming. But anyways, I'll let you know the update on that. Uh, I'll just kind of show you when it grows in. But so far, it's been about four days. Had plenty of Jesus rain, good rain. Put a little uh, RGS um, um, uh, leftover in there. So yeah, Miss Ferguson's working out here a lot. We got potato plant over here. We got lettuce. We got a bunch of stuff she's got in the beds over here. Um, I bought some lawn soil for the little things I'm going to be doing. It's got fertilizer mixed in the lawn soil. And then we got tomato plants. We got some a bunch of stuff over here. So she's got it going on. Ran out of RGS, but if you put some water, swish it around, you can get a little bit of excess RGS, sea kelp, and other things as well. So anyways, that's what's going on on the back porch. If you see it in my videos, you're like, what the heck? It looks like a garden back there. Um, that's what we got going on back here. So today, guys, I want to introduce you to a brand new product I'm going to be applying to my lawn. It's, uh, it's not something that you got to get this 
go down in the link and in, in, in the description of the link and get it right now because it's going to save your lawn. There is no product. If anybody tells you this product is going to save your lawn, it's it's the only product you need. I would I would second guess them highly. Water is the main thing that we need, and just applying water throughout the summer can almost all the time get us through. But uh, uh, but anyways, uh, I digress. Uh, that's a bigger conversation. But today I want to talk about another tool we can put in the bag, and here's some clips of it right here. So just quickly going over the back of the bottle for your, um, here you go, here's the uh, analysis over here of what is in the bottle. Um, and we'll quickly just go over this existing turf initial application, nine ounces, just like Hydrotain, uh, per thousand for that base layer. Um, and water in thoroughly after application, repeat monthly at three ounces, just like Hydrotain. For best results, apply to moist soil to ensure foreplay is washed off foliage and into the soil within 24 hours, follow enough additional water to carry foreplay down. So basically you got to wet your lawn, apply the nine ounces of base, water it in, and then every month you will reapply at three ounces per thousand. Uh, and it goes on that you can use this on trees, shrubs, individual plants, potted, which is what we're talking about here in my backyard. We may use it there, large planters and gardens. And then for best results, water thoroughly when rewatering foreplay treated plants. Foreplay is bio, uh, biodegradable. For maximum effectiveness, reapply monthly at one third the rate or when required watering becomes more frequent, reapply if a reduction watering is not apparent within the first two weeks. So there you go. There's the label on the back of the bottle itself. So that's foreplay. Now this comes from Yard Mastery and I'm going to hold it up for a second. But here's foreplay. Um, you can find this on the Yard uh, Lawn Care Nut. Yard Mastery has this and I saw it. It caught my eye last year and I'm like, huh, that's interesting. I wonder if that stuff's any good. So uh, I, I'm not going to hold this the whole time, but you saw pictures of it. You can go back, pause it if you want to, but I'm just going to quickly, uh, this is a liquid that is uh, similar. It's, it's the cousin or related to Hydrotain. Um, so it is a little different, but foreplay. It says the ultimate solution for LDS and water conservation combines the power of hydrotain and sea extra seaweed extract non-ionic surfactant and potassium humate these four proven technologies maximize water efficiency improve water penetration and increase um, nutrient availability to collectively eliminate the most severe localized dry spots. So LDS, localized dry spots, that's what LDS means in this situation. So when, one of the things you will notice as we get hotter, there's already been people up north I saw on Reddit commenting, what's happening to my lawn here? And it's a dry spot. It's an area where the grass is curling, as we've talked about, and it's saying I need water. And that could be a result of what's in the soil underneath that grass. We can have roots, we can have rocks, we can have a shingle from your house just being built and the roots can't get past the shingle and it's shallow roots. And then the sun comes out, you get a 90 degree day on the roller coaster of the weather and not a lot of rain. And all of a sudden your, your grass begins to shrivel because it don't have deep roots. And so we get dry spots. So the purpose of foreplay is, is to be like hydrotain. It's a combination of sea extract, seaweed extract, the hydrotain, also non-ionic surfactant and potassium humate. And so the benefits, I wanna quickly just go over the benefits and that would be it eliminates localized dry spots, which we just talked about. It reduces drought stress and wilt. So if you're in like North Carolina, I think North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, maybe even a little further north, um, this product may be useful for you because we've got cool season lawn and transition zone. We get a little bit more heat. We get a little bit more uh, humid uh, and humidity. And so it's an extra tool. Is it something you absolutely have to have? I don't think you absolutely have to have it, but is it something that could help you if you're going on vacation for a week and a half? If you're gonna be gone, you don't have irrigation, could applying this help uh, the hydrotain help with the moisture coming into your grass? Sure. And uh, it's something that may save your grass from withering and dying off even more if you're not going to be able to be home or have somebody to be able to water your grass. It reduces watering requirements is what I just said. Maximize water efficiency. When you do have water, supposedly these ingredients will help to deliver that, uh, increase seed germination and sod establishment, improve plant uh, establishment, increase nutrient uptake. That's what I was trying to get to. So it's supposed to help with nutrients getting to the plant uh, with the hydrotain, with the potassium, um, 
uh, humate or whatever I said before. Um, it's helping to get the nutrients inside the plant, improve stress tolerance. It's giving you, again, as we talked about, an armor on your grass uh, with this formula to help it. And so and Hydrotain alone is a great product, but this is Hydrotain times three. It's You're getting the Hydrotain. You're also basically getting CK from Next inside the bottle mixed in with it. You're also getting the potassium and what's the other thing I said? Um, and the ionic uh, surfactant, um, non-ionic surfactant, excuse me. And so it provides a source of carbon and provides microbial food source. And so that's all I'll read from the website. But uh, that's what, and as I just kind of turn the camera and you guys can see it behind me, that's about all. But we, we're not gonna apply this today, but soon we're gonna be putting this in my lawn. And then maybe you're like, huh, that's interesting. I don't think I'll buy it, but I'll, let's see if it does anything for Mr. Ferguson. I will apply it. I will be as honest as I can. Um, I don't know how to, I'll, I'll be, I'll judge it the best I can. Can. Um, we, we may do um, some of the plants over here, as I talked about. We may put a little bit of this on a couple of the plants and not on other plants and see, does it make a difference or not? I think uh, the Lawn Care Nut did a test like that and it was a pretty good test to be able to see. So I just want to introduce you to this product. I will link it below if you're interested. You can find it. Um, I've only found it uh, uh, personally on uh, Yard Mastery site, but I'll link it below if you're interested. Of course, the links does help me and the family uh, if you use those links. If not, if you find it cheaper, buy all means get it cheaper but i wanted to test it because it's combining all of the four um, things that will help our lawn with stress into one bottle instead of applying multiple applications from different sources you got it all in one and so this does cost around 100 bucks i think it's a little shy a gallon of 100 bucks but we're going to apply it we're going to see what happens is it worth it does it make a difference is it not made a difference and we'll be honest with uh, what our findings are so thank you guys for tuning in i'm excited about trying something new all the time and not only for me um, if it wasn't for you guys i probably wouldn't buy this and and do a review on it because i think i'd be fine without it but i want to test it and if you're curious about it we'll try it out it may be something if we have some left over we may try it out at the uh the lawn project at the church sometime as well as other products does this work on a brand new lawn or not it said it helps with establishing seed if you're doing some spring seed you may want to put this down to help it with stress from the sun because obviously we want to do uh, most of our cool season planning in the fall anyways so for play check it out read up on it i'll be using it eventually here uh, but this i just wanted to let you know i purchased it to try it out so you guys can see does it work is it overpriced um, or does it seem to help the lawn in the summer months so god bless you guys thank you for tuning in for this quick 4k wednesday video give it a thumbs up give it a like uh, leave your comments below if you've used the product if you've been looking at it like me or uh, what your thoughts are on it uh, leave your comments below thank you for tuning in we'll see you next time on the mr ferguson lawn care channel god bless you